This next comic is all the way from the other side of the world, from Australia, Woo! folks. Some Aussies here? Fantastico. That's not even Australian, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, she tours all around the world for the U.S. troops entertaining them. She's been at places such as Sarajevo, Bosnia, Kosovo. Folks, she's entertaining our troops. Let's give a round of applause for this girl, Susanna Briss. Give it up for her, folks. happy to be here. It is so great to live in this country. It is so great. I'm so happy. I've been here for six years now, so I'm totally Yankified. I'm fully American, and I know that I'm finally a true American, because after a lot of red tape and heaps of effort on my part, I finally have bad credit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of that. Thank you. I have to come out and say something very controversial, which is that I actually was against the war. Um, I know that's a very controversial statement, but uh, I have to say that it comes from my own personal experience. Not many people know this, but Australia's actually been fighting a war for many years against the mullet. <laughs> I grew up in Australia, but I was born in Estonia in the former Soviet Union. And you know, people got married for very different reasons in Russia. Like, my father only married my mother because he heard through a friend that she had toilet paper. <laughs> Thank God I finally came to a country where people get married for the right reasons, to get on TV. <laughs> my mother had a tough life in, in uh, the former Soviet Union. You know, she used to work for a flight attendant. She used to be a flight attendant for Soviet Air. And she used to stand at the front of the plane and say, Good morning, comrade men and women. <laughs> There are two working oxygen masks located in the rear of the cabin. We will now shuffle the boarding passes to see who gets the two oxygen masks. And for those of you American businessmen traveling with us today, my measurements are 36, 24, 77. Thank you for flying with us, and now prepare to die. <laughs> 